Prince here can draw a vampire. Yeah, using shapes. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use crayons, right? Yeah. And they also need some? Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> we're first using our black crayon, and we're going to draw a circle for our vampire's head. We're going to draw it up here towards the top so that we have room for the body. I'm going to draw it kind of big for the head. There's our circle. And we're going to start here, and then we can go around and draw a head. A circle. There you go. Around and back. We did it. That's a circle shape. Now let's draw a rectangle shape for the body. We're going to start by drawing a line right here at the neck. Yes. Good job. Then we're going to draw two lines straight down from each side. You could drop from here down to that dot and from here down to that dot. There's a line and another one. Yes. And then we're going to draw the bottom. It kind of looks like a square. Squares have all the sides the same length, but a rectangle has two sides that are longer. Okay, now let's draw the mouth. We're going to draw a line straight across and it's kind of a serious mouth, huh? We're going <laughs> to we're going to draw a straight line right there. Then we're going to draw another shape and this is for the teeth. And what shape is that? A triangle. A triangle. Yeah, for the sharp vampire teeth. The and then, triangle's for the teeth. Yes, it is. We're going to draw another triangle for the other tooth. Now let's draw more triangles. We're going to draw the eyes a little bit later. Let's draw two more triangles for the bow tie. So we're going to draw one right here and then one right next to it. Yes. And then, oh, I like how sharp <laughs> your triangles are. And then we're going to draw another triangle that's even bigger for the suit, our vampire jacket. Now let's draw another triangle up here for the hair. Sometimes they have pointy hair right in the middle of their forehead. So we draw a line down and up. Yes. And then let's draw the ears. These aren't really triangles, but we're going to draw them next. We're going to draw two lines coming out. They have pointy ears. Ding dong. And then on this side, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and connects to the cheek. And then same thing over here. Oh, and you could add longer hair on your vampire. Maybe you draw another triangle that comes down from here, comes out, and then back in. Yes, and then the same thing on this side. Down, here, and then back in. This next part, let's fast forward. We're going to color the hair black. We're going to color the jacket black. And you could also color the hair on the sides black. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! That part was really fast, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. Now we're switching to our yellow crayon for the eyes. We're going to draw a circle on the left and a circle on the right. Ooh, it's spooky. Oh, I like how big your eyes are. Uh, maybe I'll make mine a little bit bigger. Let's color them in solid yellow, too. Let's switch back to our black crayon. I'm going to draw another circle inside of the yellow circle. There you go. And you can press a little harder so that it shows up. Because we're drawing on top of the yellow crayon, it helps if you press really hard. And then I'm going to color in that circle too. Oh, good job. I love your vampire so much. <laughs> Let's also draw a bat. We're going to draw a straight line up here. You can draw it right here. Then we're going to add two triangles for the ears. So it also looks like the letter M. Up, down, up, down. There you go. And let's color in the ears. Good. There you go. And then let's draw the wings. We're going to draw two lines down on each side. And then we're going to draw upside down or rainbow lines, upside down U shapes or rainbow lines, all the way across the bottom. Yes. And then let's color in the wings. Now let's switch to our red crayon and we'll color in the bow or vampire bow tie. There you go. And then let's draw a cape. We're going to draw another triangle that's on the side. So we're going to draw a big long diagonal line coming down and then connect down to the bottom. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. Big long diagonal line and then connect it. And then let's color in these triangle shapes. Let's make our vampire a little more spooky. We could add little red 
spots on the bottom of each tooth. Ooh, that's really spooky. <laughs> Give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our vampires. I especially love that you added eyelashes and pink cheeks to finish your drawing. <laughs> you can even add more things to your drawing. You could. You could add more bats or even a background. I love that we used shapes to draw our vampire. What was this first shape that we drew? A circle. A circle. And then what was this bottom shape for the body? A, kind of, a tiny rectangle. Yeah, a rectangle or a square shape. And then we also used lots of... Triangles. <laughs> yeah, the triangles for the teeth, the hair, and also the cape and tie. We hope you have fun drawing a vampire with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.